Today we're going to be doing some troubleshooting on the compressor of a vision cooling unit and we're also going to be installing a 3-in-1 kit. Okay, This replaces the solid state relay and the capacitor that comes originally with the machine. All right. First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be dismantling the capacitor and the relay that comes with the compressor. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to get two flathead screwdrivers inserted to these caps, push inwards like so, and pull the cap out. What we're doing is actually we're pressing these tabs inwards. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the capacitor does not have any charge. We're going to grab a screwdriver, put it between these terminals and touch them okay there's no charge all right now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and remove the bracket that holds the cables in place unscrew this screw here this one here i'm gonna push up on this bracket set this aside Okay, now we can go ahead and remove this terminal, pull this terminal out, I'm going to unplug the ground wire, pull this other terminal out here. This is for the capacitor. We're going to go ahead and remove the capacitor from its place, open on this tab, and out he goes. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to disconnect the starter relay. We're going to pull on these tabs, set this cable aside. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the actual starter relay from the compressor. We're going to grab a flathead screwdriver, put it behind it, and push it forward. And off he goes. Now we're left with three pins. Okay. And here's where we're going to go ahead and identify which pin is which uh, coil. And we're also going to do some troubleshooting on the compressor to make sure that the issue was not the starter relay capacitor, but if in the case that the compressor was actually burnt out. Okay. We have three pins. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the compressor is not burnt out. To do so, we're going to perform something called, in the industry, the scratch test. We're going to grab a file, and we're going to do a very small scratch on the outside of the compressor. Just enough to remove just a little bit of paint, so we can see the metal surface. Very small. That is more than enough. We're going to grab our multimeter, okay? We're going to set it in the continuity setting. This is the setting where it measures resistance and when the test leads touch, it beeps. We're gonna push one test lead in the scratch that we did on the compressor and we're gonna touch each of the prongs. If one of them beeps means the compressor is shorted out and it's no good. Here, nothing, nothing, and nothing. This compressor, we can safely assume it's good. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward with the installation of the three-in-one kit. The three-in-one starter kit, I'm gonna place this right where the capacitor was. Okay, lock it in place. Now to do the installation, we got to identify on these pins, which one is the common, the start coil, and the run coil all right this is very simple the common is usually offset towards the bottom or towards the top we're gonna start going up there put our multimeter in ohms setting to measure resistance okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure resistance from the center or from the bottom one to this one right here we have 1.2 ohms, okay? We're gonna write that down. 
and you just write this down. I'm gonna draw myself a little schematic. From here to here, 1.2. From the center, or from the bottom one to the right, our multimeter reads 4.6. 4.6. Okay, so here, here, 4.6. And if we measure the two on the top, we should get the sum of the two coils. Which looks like 6.0 okay if we do the math 1.2 plus 1.4 or 4.6 okay we got we got 5.8 5.8 is pretty close to 6.0 so we know that if we look at the chart that we have here the small resistance is our from the common, so this we know is the common, okay? We know from the common, the shortest resistance, the small resistance, is the run coil. So this right here is the run, this is the running coil, and the other one is the start coil, because it's the larger resistance, okay? And we verify this by measuring across pin to pin, which is this one to this one, and it'll give you the total, which is 6.0, okay? So if we look on the charts, on this guy, it says that the white wire goes to the start, in this case will be on the right. Just gonna push it in, like so. The red wire goes to the run, which is on the left. In. And the black wire is the common, which is the one on the bottom. Okay. I'll put this guy back in place. All right. Now what we got left is to put the ground back in place. I'll put this cables neatly so I can how the original ones were. To the bottom, this gap here, okay? And the power cables, I'm actually gonna leave them to the outside of the bracket. In this case, I'm gonna remove the whole bracket. Like so, set that aside. And these cables, I'm gonna keep using the ground, which goes here to this base. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut and strip these two cables here. And these cables here. Like so. I'm gonna open up this so I have more room to play with these cables. Pull back on this sheath a little bit. Okay. It's my stripping tool. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab. It does not matter on the on these. It's not matter. This is AC. Just twist them here. I get a little twist cap. There, make sure it's tight. With the other one. Just a little bit. Put the twist cap on. Make sure it's tight. Okay. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna put our ground back in place. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna grab our cover. Make sure that none of these 
pins are touching. It's all good. Cover. And we, if we can, we're going to put our cover back in place. Like so. If we have some electrical tape, we want to put some electrical tape around these uh, nut, cable nuts. And we're good. Now we're going to go ahead and power on the unit and see if uh, everything's good. As you see, the cleaning unit starts. And we're done.